Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to flirt with a guy over text. So if this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this video to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So how do you flirt with a guy over text? It can actually be a lot more complicated or challenging than a lot of people think. Um, a lot of flirting in, in uh, like one-on-one -on -one personal, like in-person situations is a little bit easier and a little bit different because you're using, you can use body language, um, you can use tonality, and uh, over text it's a little bit more challenging because you're, you know, getting rid of that body language and tonality just for pure. Uh, verbal text message stuff that could possibly be taken out of context. So, so how you know what should you do? How should you uh, flirt over text? Let me give you a few um, tips here. So, tip number one is that uh, don't be boring, but also don't be too weird. <laughs> and so, uh, the the best way to make sure that you're not boring and that you're not being too weird is that you end up talking about uh, talk about subjects that. Um, and, and flirt about subjects that are already uh, things that you guys know about. So if you guys have spent time together, um, you can talk about things that you discussed when you were together or um, if you haven't gotten, uh, if most of your conversations have been over text message, you can text about uh, other, uh, about topics that, um, that maybe you both shared. Like if you guys were online dating or something and you read something in his profile, um, you can relate it to topics like that. So um, try to avoid going way too far out there um, if you don't already know that he's into those types of things, um, you know, and, and try not to be boring. So tip number two is that you want to make him laugh. You know, tell a joke, tell something that's funny, uh, tell something about your, your day that was funny, tell something about something that you've talked about before that maybe is... Uh, awkward or weird, um, but not like weird as a subject, but like weird as something that's funny weird. Like it, it this happened and that's weird. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, just find little things that you can joke about, ask them questions that are kind of funny. Um, tell them about experiences that you've had that were funny to you. Um, anything uh, that's small that you can joke about. Um, it's great for icebreakers. Tip number three is to stop asking like shallow, simple questions and instead get him to talk about himself. So uh, there's kind of this thing where a lot of people think that flirting is like being superficial, but it's not really. It's it, Flirting is about creating a connection. It's about um, getting somebody more attracted to you. It's about learning about each other. And uh, a great way to do that is to ask him real, some real questions about himself and, and questions that are open-ended, questions that, um, that get him to open up and, and talk more and, and have more to say and, and share more with you. And, um, it, you know, especially if you um, are doing some kind of online dating and you just exchange numbers or something and you want to have uh, develop some rapport and get to know each other, um, it's always better to ask um, questions with an open end to it. Um, and, and sometimes it might even get him to respond that uh, he wants to meet up or that he wants to talk about that in person or, you know, something like that, which... Um, is uh, it, it's a good way to get him feeling like um, or thinking in the mindset of you know I, I want to share this with her but I want you know like and I and I want to meet up and I want to do this in person I want to talk on the phone that kind of thing if if that's what you're into I know uh, almost everybody's into just text messaging this, these days so um, who knows <laughs> who knows what you want to do. Tip number four is to use his name in your conversation. So, um, uh, you know, one, one of the things that I always thought was really cute and really attractive was when women use like Mr. before a guy's name, like Mr. Mr. Matt or like <laughs> there's uh, when I was in... Um, uh, uh, I was I was traveling one time, and and this uh, this woman at this 
hotel that I was staying at called me Sir Matthew. And it was like the cutest thing in the world. Um, and, you know, just using his name, though, you know, without even, you know, using the Mr. Or Sir or whatever uh, is really is really uh, cute and attractive. And uh, guys can really like that a lot. So tip number five is to compliment him on something. And this is kind of a, an uh, underutilized and overlooked thing that I think guys really like a lot. And that's just complimenting a guy on, uh, you know, it could be on anything. Uh, the best things to compliment men on are things that, um, you know, that they did for you that you thought were attractive. That That is the best type of thing to compliment a guy on. If, if you see that he acts like a gentleman or something and, and you like him acting like a gentleman or he, you know, did something for you that made you feel good, um, it, it's, it's really, uh, it can really be a powerful compliment to compliment him on that as a trait of who he is. So for instance, like if, uh, let's say that, uh, let, let's just go with the gentleman example. Um, if a guy, um, you know, like opens a door for you and you like that, um, then, uh, you know, one of the things that you could say to him is that, you know, it's, it's uh, really attractive to you that um, he's such a gentleman and, you know, he does things like opens doors for you and whatnot. And not, not only will that uh, make him feel good and make him like you more, but it'll also um, make him want to do things like that more often so that you'll notice. And because, you know, you're telling him that you're attracted to that and men want to feel more attractive to women, uh, especially a woman that he likes. And so if you tell him some, uh, something that's like that, he's more likely to do it. He'll feel better about himself. He'll feel better about you. And it's just a win-win all the way around. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right-hand side of this video and go to our website.